So they're plotting. They're planning with now new ways to come and rip you off as we enter the new year. Yeah, scammers are working overtime with one goal in mind. That's to steal your money and your identity. New year means new scams, new opportunities for scammers to come after you and your loved ones. And the numbers are actually ridiculous as we move into the new year. This year in 2024 alone, it's estimated that Americans will lose over $3 billion to scams. Social media scams are expected to be rampant, more prevalent than ever. And believe it or not, it's not senior citizens. Instead, college students, specifically foreign exchange students, are the most likely to be targeted this year. A teenager in Utah survived a scam known as cyber kidnapping. The scammers are targeting foreign exchange students and their families and walking away with tens of thousands of dollars. ABC's Derek Dennis explains. A 17-year-old Chinese exchange student has been found safe by police in Utah, camping out in the woods cold and alone. He speaks broken English and had been reported kidnapped by his family in China after they paid a ransom demand of $80,000. The parents reported to school officials that they received a photograph of their child that would indicate he was abducted and they requested a ransom. Turns out it was a scam known as cyber kidnapping in which kidnappers target foreign exchange students and their families, telling each that the other is in danger and then convincing the student to isolate themselves, send pictures or cell phone videos, making it look like they're being held captive to their parents, who in turn hand over ransom money electronically. Actors are able to manipulate both a victim and their family into believing that something has happened to the victim. Brandon Amaker is a cybersecurity expert and instructor at Utah Valley University and says these unknown actors are crafty. They are likely targeting, you know, people who are very out of their element, people who are new in a new country, new environment where they're very unfamiliar with law enforcement. They're very unfamiliar culturally. Authorities are trying to track down the so-called cyber kidnappers, starting with the money that was transferred to Chinese banks. As for the 17-year-old student, he was rescued by police three days after his reported kidnapping. His story, a lesson to other parents of kids studying or even working abroad. I think it is important that we talk to our children before they leave to be a foreign exchange student or to be a missionary somewhere else around the world, that we tell them that this is a possibility. And just because somebody contacts you online Line doesn't mean it's real. Scary stuff. Experts say the scam typically stops when the communication stops, so victims are advised to cut off communication and contact authorities as soon as a threat is made. Social media scams such as the Cash App glitch are still very popular amongst the youth. Y'all see what we got going on. Cash App debits, Cash App glitch has been smacking. If you have the Cash App glitch, go ahead now. Everybody know Thursdays and Fridays get harder than any other day. You're the guy who doesn't know how to send Bitcoin, eh? Well, this is a quick tutorial just for you so you can know how to send Bitcoin through Cash App easily. Go to Cash App. Get the home screen. Click Buy Bitcoin. You want to buy the Bitcoin? In this case, I'm sending $50 worth of Bitcoin. So guess what? I'm going to buy $55 worth of Bitcoin just to cover the fees. There is fees when you send Bitcoin, you know? So I just bought the Bitcoin, okay? I bought the Bitcoin. Click the arrow. The arrow means send it. Click Send Bitcoin. Now, you don't want to send 50 whole Bitcoins. Switch that to U.S. dollars and type in $50. Now, I'm going to get the Bitcoin address. That is a Bitcoin address. That is not a link. Copy that. Copy that in there. That's the BTC address. Paste it in. Click it. Click next. Now, on the next screen, click priority. Priority is one of the fastest ways to send Bitcoin. Click confirm and send. Type in your PIN. And it was literally that easy. The Bitcoin is sent. Now, you want to go to your transactions. Make sure it's pending. If it's pending, you're green. That means it went through. If you don't see pending, then it didn't work. Facebook marketplace scams are still a widespread problem. Instagram DM scams, TikTok scams, and especially artificial intelligence scams will continue to grow. Door-to-door -door scams are becoming increasingly more common, and right now through Valentine's Day, we can expect to see a huge rise in romance scams. Now, when we talk about artificial intelligence scams, the main concern is someone cloning your voice or using your image to trick others, making them believe that it's you and asking for money. With just a few seconds of audio, new artificial intelligence software can clone a person's voice. We've reported on these kidnapping scams where a perpetrator falsely claims they're holding a loved one hostage and demands ransom. But this is this case is the latest eerie example of how criminals can use technology to manipulate your own voice or someone you love to prey on your worst fears. This morning, an urgent warning from an Arizona mom who says she was the victim of a terrifying voice cloning hoax. I just walked inside and started screaming for help. Jennifer DiStefano says when she recently received a call from an unknown number, she almost didn't answer. But her 15-year-old daughter, Brianna, was on a skiing trip and she worried it could be an emergency. So she picked up. 
And it's my daughter's voice crying and sobbing, um, saying, mom. And I'm like, okay, what happened? She's like, mom, these bad men have me. Help me, help me. De Stefano says a man demanded ransom in exchange for Brianna. He didn't want a wire transfer, but instead told her he'd pick her up. I started to wonder, like, if these people were, like, asking to track my mom and, like, pick her up, like, they could have obviously been, like, putting some information together to try and track me or some of my siblings to actually make this a reality. Um, so it definitely scared me. Within minutes, they confirmed her daughter was safe. She says it was all a scheme using artificial intelligence to replicate her daughter's voice. Now, door-to-door -door scams are going to happen all throughout the year, mainly closer to wintertime. Door-to-door -door scams will be big this year, especially in the winter and the coming spring. What we know is investigators are tracking groups from outside of Michigan right now. And these people essentially target neighborhoods, offering services such as roof repair, snow plowing, seal coating. And what they'll do is they will demand an upfront payment and then disappear without even attempting the work. Yeah, they move up here a lot during the summer and then during pre-winter we see a lot of roof scams. So going into the, the, the winter with the same kind of folk. Now another scam that is a major problem right now is the chargeback scam. Essentially what people do is they'll place an order online, right? Whether that's for clothes, food, whatever, right? And once the package arrives, they'll contact their bank, right? And they'll file a chargeback with the institution, right? Now, if it is a large transaction, the bank will obviously do an investigation, try to locate the problem and recover the funds. However, small transactions can sometimes slip through, um, letting the scammers get away scot-free with, you know, free groceries or maybe even free clothes for the week. Another popular scam happening right now is the puppy purchase scam, right? Now, this involves dog listings online where someone will be claiming to sell multiple dogs. They may even offer to let you come see the dog in a public place before purchasing and after you are satisfied and ready to buy the scammers will then ask you to make a deposit right an upfront payment and then after doing so they'll just block you and run off with your money and last but certainly not least we have the retail store scam right now this essentially involves a store clerk uh, and you know how sometimes employees get like uh, employee discounts right they might get a 20 30 percent off discount just for an example right a new item in the store can come out that costs 300 dollars and the store clerk can buy that for 210 with the 30% off employee discount, right? Now, hypothetically, they can sell that same item for close to, close to 300, maybe 275, profiting 65 for the day. Right now, this could be pretty nice, potentially even worth it for a guy making, you know, 20 bucks an hour. Let's go on Reddit and see if we can find any scams that have been going on my boyfriend tried buying a ps5 from facebook marketplace oh my goodness never try to buy a ps5 from facebook marketplace don't ever try to buy anything from facebook marketplace that is like <laughs> scammers paradise it's mainly just like older people that are just like out of the loop that be buying stuff on facebook marketplace ups package arrived at the warehouse but cannot be delivered to oh my goodness no i have gotten these if you get a text message like this do not even respond to it just ignore it i've gotten these all the time this is like a new ups um tracking thing scam it's like ridiculous don't ever fall for this not even a ups link that's like the main way you could tell just look at the link dang someone said yes don't do it i was scammed this way cleaned out my entire bank account and dropped me in the negatives God dang. No, so essentially what they're doing is, I don't know, it's a weird fucking scam. I think what they're doing is they're trying to get people to click on the link and once it takes them to the link, like it tells them to put in their address information and stuff to get their package sent to them, right? Sent to their correct address. Um, and I think what they're doing is they're having people, you know, maybe pay like a little fee or something to get the package delivered. And what they're doing is they're just, you know, clearing out these people's accounts, just stealing the card information or, you know, whatever payment method they use and just, you know, stealing money that way. I don't know, crazy scam. Yeah, definitely a phishing scam. Trying to get your card information. My mother got a call that I was in a car accident. So this is, you know, again, we were talking about artificial intelligence scam. So basically what people are doing now is they're, you know, taking clips. They're getting clips of people's voice. And what they can do with these clips is they can use it to clone your voice. So once they have a clip of you talking, they it can be a 10 second clip of you saying anything. They can use that 10 second clip to clone your voice. And what they're doing is they're using it to, you know, trick family members into, you know, thinking you're in this tragic incident, you know, you just got in a car accident or whatever, you're stranded somewhere, you need them to send you a hundred bucks. You know, and that's how people are scamming, using artificial intelligence, using um, voice cloning technology.
My uncle is currently being exploited. There's a cryptocurrency scam involving my uncle. He has made $20,000 deposit on a website, Dubix. I discovered through a fast internet research um, that the website is a scam and has already been reported to trust pilot. He's very distraught. My mother and I are going to talk to him today, try to help him. Can you think? Dang. $20,000 deposit on some weird fucking cryptocurrency site. Yo, do people... Do people not do their research? Twenty thousand? That doesn't even sound right. What the fuck? Who just puts twenty thousand dollars on some fucking currency exchange? Cryptocurrency exchange? Dubiex? Hold on, we gotta look at that. <sighs> Polygon. I'm like, yeah. See, this already looks like weird as fuck. Is this where he dropped twenty k? Crypto for mainstream gaming and <laughs> philanthropy. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Yo, some people are just so gullible. It's just insane. Like, have you ever heard of Coinbase, Robinhood? Like, stick to a trusted fucking app. The hell is Dubiex? Oh boy, we got another one. So, oh man, father keeps getting women from different countries calling him to get get with him uh, romantically, and they keep scamming him out of gift cards. So I've heard of this like. <laughs> a million times before essentially what happens with this one is like you know this is a romance scam where essentially you know people will find lonely guys lonely women from all around the world and those essentially you know they get them to send them gift cards or go open up a bank account for them or you know, a bitcoin machine and, and and purchase crypto for them and these romance scammers will have people do all different types of things for them and essentially they're they're fishing for people who are just you know lonely and looking for someone to talk to and they'll end up getting these people to you know do some dirty work for them you know whether that's you know buying crypto so they can use it um for illegal things or open up a bank account so they can use it to drop fake checks i've seen i've seen it all but apparently where this one we have a, a guy who's being scammed out of gift cards so as the title says my father is a continued victim of a catfishing scam where he sends money to women to get them to fly out to them um pay for getting kidnapped i try to tell him it's a scam he's very angry and yells at me that he's not getting scammed Bruh. he will eventually find out it's a scam and try to get his money back but right now he will fall into it again i don't know if it's like old people with dementia falling for this or what dude i just don't understand how you can't see that you're getting scammed like you're literally you literally have someone over the internet probably not even a woman get them to fly them out pay for getting kidnapped i just don't understand so what is he sending them money so he's sending them money for i don't know it's fucking weird <laughs> we could be homeless with how much he spends on these people god dang see what these two comments say this isn't an addiction for your father at this point. It's filling a void for him. He needs therapy. Dang, yeah, I didn't even think about it that way. I don't know, maybe he lost um, his wife or something. I don't know, you see it all the time with older people where they're like, they'll like easily fall into like these weird traps where they're like sending money or gift cards or something to someone or cryptocurrency. You really gotta be dedicated because you really gotta like talk to these people just to even get to that point so you know it's it's a very crazy scam anyone participating in that scam you <laughs> get a life dude because you're out here just like <laughs> i just don't understand like you dedicate all your time talking to like retards getting them to send you 100 bucks i just don't understand